Tug's getting hit marker fight, Jeff. going on youtube we've got a banger on our hands and sure enough it is going to be in the form of four individual series for this week's mobile mayhem breakdown of course you've got uh each and every 
individual series going to be uploaded moving forward as uh, VODs are not going to be available on Trovo. We can't live stream on YouTube anymore, which is a, a Debbie Downer, but it's okay. We're going to turn that frown upside down with a few uh, videos for ourselves. So make sure you like the video. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn the notifications on moving forward. Without further ado, we'll go ahead and jump right into the action. I sold you guys a dream. Let me take a look at the actual schedule of the day. Actual schedule of the day. That is the actual schedule. I swear to God we ended up with Clash and... Never mind. That is the schedule of the day. I lie. Haha. <laughs> full, full strokes on you guys. It's not April, but we are continuing that same momentum. Man, what the hell am I on today? Oh, that's right. I'm doing this solo, so... For right now, it's, uh, it's just me, baby. Taking a look at it. Standing's looking pretty solid. I know for a fact this is right. No ifs, ands, buts about it. It is going to be Animus sitting up top with 80 points. Nova Esports with 75. Third place is going to be followed up with Illuminati. Or not Illuminati, but uh, EUE. And then Illuminati, as I'm taking a look at it. 1 with 7 not found. 4 gay, uh, for number 5. 6, 30 with Anarchy. Clash sitting at a whopping 10 points as well as Lux and FF420. And they're rounding out the last spot on the board is going to be Portugal with five. Might as well just say Calabuso has five points because I don't know if Portugal has presented five players or four players at least that can complement his play style. We've seen some pretty stout matches from FM in that sniper role, but let's be real. It has been a Calabuso show to say the least. So how's everybody doing the day? Taking a look at everything. It looks like it's going to be a solid one indeed. As we have the players starting to finally shuffle into the lobby. And it does look like our first matchup is about to be on the horizon. Verdict selling us? No, chat. I literally looked at the schedule and I was like, this kind of looks like what we saw last week, right? Wrong. Wrong. That is an absolute wrong. I remember the last match of the day was Anarchy versus Lux. And I remember that because... It was a crap show it was a 4v5 in game number one right and then it was a 4v5 in game number two and then we went to a game three and it was also a 4v5 yes that's right um two points separated two points separated anarchy from taking game number one in a 4v5 i was pretty in shambles and i know lux was too i don't think they uh anticipated the uh squad of Anarchy to be able to compete with... Uh, how do I say it? It's better better 4v5 match than we've seen, right? Well, you know what? We're here for it, though. So, take a look at it. It does look like Imperium's in the booth. Am, am I, can I finally stop babbling solo? I don't know. Can you, man? <laughs> I don't know, bro. It was, that was pretty much a nightmare, homie. I don't know what happened. I just I looked at his schedule. And I was like, I'm so lost right now without Imperium. Where is he at in my life, and why am I doing this? To be fair, man, I'm relying on you to, to <laughs> you know. I'm sorry. Me up today. I, I was I was off for a week, man. I was in sunny Spain, tanning myself up, enjoying all the vitamin <laughs> D. Is that what comes from the sun? Hey, yo. And, and I was missing all my man. So I'm relying on you to kind of, you know, get me up today here well i'll go ahead and tell you you missed a, a pretty good battle on tuesday tuesday was probably the okay. better of the days i say that okay. in nova and anarchy nova takes it 2-0 portugal and euro elite it was the calabuso show bro okay. euro elite absolutely dominate in the objective and then animus pretty much body clash in uh match number three i don't think we got okay. the c match number four i think we did i think it was a 2-0 also for a woman seven um, yeah. And then on Thursday, it started so great. Euro Elite and FM420. I don't remember that match. I think that was actually a DQ. Clash and Nova was a 2-0 in Nova. Animus 2-0. Anarchy, the last series of the day, literally lost one of their players mid-game. Like, they didn't even get to P3 oh, in that player. Yeah, 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 yeah. No yeah. Way, that, man. Absolutely, absolutely. And then all of a sudden... It was bad, man. Yeah, yeah. It was a two-point loss for them in a 4v5. Yeah. We were all shaking our heads, and then we get to game two and three with Search and Destroy back to back, and, um, and Anarchy win. So um, it, it was it was pretty it was pretty damn demoralizing. That was the last series of the day, and 
We need to update your uh, your graphics because right now we're we're selling is, you is, hard. Is, extremely is Ronan hard. Throne? Is, is, Ro is Ronan Throne again? There's is, a bear shit in the woods. And uh, God, God, yes. absolute. Yeah. yeah. Excuse my French. God fucking damn it, Ronan. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. That's all Ronan, homie. There we go. We've got you. Do I, do I do I look do I look like a complete like redneck hick of a person or something like that? You know? Do I, yeah. do I look like a hobo? Come on, man. He's not, he may be from Georgia, chat, but he is no hick. I promise you. Okay. I, I absolutely promise you. I absolutely promise you. Okay. It looks like lobby's finally full, right? It is 13 minutes after the hour. We're getting geared up for our first series. Oh, another thing to mention. All right. This yeah. is something I needed to brief you on as well. You remember how we yeah. did hard point search and then the third game was a, a toss yeah, up, right? I, I, I do. I do know that domination is back. Yes, I know that much at least. At least. There we go. That was probably the only thing that you, you missed out on, but obviously you didn't miss out on that. So it's going to be a solid day. I think uh, we, we've got some new graphics. Obviously, we saw the new intro. I feel like the old intro was pretty banger. Uh, I wish they would have maybe just I didn't see the new intro. Oh, no. You're going to have to go back did and watch I miss it. Yeah. Intro? You did. You did. I'm going to send it to you. I'm going to send it to you let you check it out. But hey, Genuinely, can you actually, please? Yeah, when, absolutely. When you get a chance. Anyway. Absolutely. Um, okay. So, yeah. So, this first game, uh, Illuminati versus Euro Elite. Uh, what's your thoughts on that? Uh, kind of more specifically in terms of who do you look at as being in a bit of a stronger position? This is a tough one, man. I really like the EUE squad. One, because they've shown so much improvement. The comms have been solid as hell. Everything about this team screams they want to be successful. And then on the flip side of the, we've got Illuminati who came through and just absolutely stole my heart last season. All right. And I mean yeah. that in the most respectful way to every other team because I, I have much love for everyone in the EU scene. But this Illuminati squad just... They're different, bro. Yeah. They, they have a lot of potential. They've shown a lot of potential. They've beaten top-tier teams. They competed with top-tier teams. Nothing about them is, is a pushover. So I think this is going to be our yeah. marquee match of the night. I think this is where we start the action, and it just gets better from here, but I don't think it's going to get as good as this series, if that makes any sense. Yeah, definitely. I, I, I do look at, obviously, Illuminati being the team to to beat in terms of they lie top of the standings i know it's only uh, at least actually ronan please tell me please tell me the scores on the spreadsheet are up to date actually please tell me that because I, I i have a feeling they're not but please tell me they are ronan's throwing homie uh, is ronan thrown oh my god ronan ronan you're killing me you're killing me, man. I, I don't I don't know what to do. I don't I, I don't know. I don't know. There, there, for for everybody for everybody watching. There, there's a there's a there's a spreadsheet. Hey, <laughs> he's updating yeah. the life. There's a there's a spreadsheet, okay, that is is given to talent to use across the mobile mayhem season, okay? And, and for someone like me that Every now and again, can miss, a, a, you know, has to miss a, a day or two. It, it allows me to scale back over the previous days, have a look at the results, have a look at the overall standings, not rely on graphics. Yeah. But when some legendary mongoose hey. fails to update the points, I look like a potato. Well, I'm going to go ahead and remind you this is the same mongoose that actually won Galaxy's. Uh tournament organizer of the year award which they didn't have a video for they didn't have a live you know a live stream to you know as they usually do it was literally announced on twitter so uh if everybody missed out on that ronan did actually indeed win the tournament organizer of the year for 2020 <laughs> And this was voted do. on by the people, by the public. This do, It's your fault. Everyone's at home watching. You're the reason why he won. Okay? Just remember that. You all sold. Right now, we're not about to sell, though. We're going we're to go ahead and jump into the action. It does look like I had the uh, best of three up for a while, but... Are we seriously doing this still, though? I'm taking a look at it. I see two, literally two of the same maps in the mix for game number three it does look like it is absolutely 100 true 
We're going to start things off with a hard point firing range, followed up by an SD standoff. And lo and behold, game number three, we're just going to double it up, go right back to standoff. But this time, we're going to play domination. So, oh, wow. Back by uh, public demand, back by stage two demands. Even though stage two, you can literally select what game mode you want to play, and domination does not have to be included into that mix. I think Dom offers a variety for game number three. But at the same time, I think it's a miss. That's just me personally. 100% just me. I, I think I think it's important to be included in the mobile mayhem because it's included whether or not it's it's optional, it's it's included in age two, right? Uh so I kind of respect the fact that it's added, but I do also understand where you're coming from. At the end of the day, we, we go with the ebbs and flows of things and we're if we do get to game three in the series um it's a it's going to be a domination standoff to kind of you know still talk about what um about these two teams yeah your elite are on 60 points right now and um illuminati are on 55 so this is a very important series so we realistically should be seeing a game three come out between these two teams no you're absolutely right and before we get to game three, we got to get through one and two first. And Hardpoint Firing Range is where we're going to find the action, right? How do you guys like that little map video? I thought it was pretty dope. I thought it was a banger. I think it is a great way to start the series right now. Objective P1 is going to be out in the open right there on the sandbag side of the map. It's going to be right below the tower, right in between that and 10. And here comes the push in. EUE looking to get some points on board. Luminati actually looking to do their due diligence as well. And Gracie, he's going to be taken down. So the objective abandoned EUE. They're right back in it. Helos Max. The usual CBR4. It's a standard mix of loadout between these two teams, which is good to see. Now, one gun that I... Uh, yeah, okay. This is what I like to see. Greed has the SKS. I think that could be very viable. I, I forget who it was exactly um, a week and a bit ago that... that was able to show the massive strength of the SKS, especially in this kind of firing range map that can have a couple of longer angle areas to, to have to control. So I like that Greed has the SKS in his, in his pocket. No, I agree. I think the SKS offers a great option if you want to control traffic. And traffic is yes. desperately needed to be maintained, especially when you're looking at this P2 objective. It is one of the bigger money hills on this map. And already EUE doing great job of taking advantage of those rotations early. Greed there on the point. Playing a little bit of that uh, traffic control. Also picking up some frags to go along with it. Also playing objective. So that is the biggest value for your buck. You get a one-shot headshot. That player's out. Obviously, we just seen one right there. It's just, I mean, it's just easy. I mean, uh, it requires a lot of skill, though, because the tap fire on mobile is not for everybody. No, for sure, and, and I think Greed Gre has done a hell of a good job so far in this game. 46 to 29 as we're halfway through the P2. Karma switching on over to the MAC-10. Get the three-piece. Very well played and finally gets shut down. Finally gets shut down, but saves right on the point. That is going to be EUE. Get in the retake, and it does stick. Almost a full 45 points already off off the start here on this P2. But now we're looking at trailer site where it's already compromised. Ewe going to ban in the last few seconds of trickle. You can see it. Two players there. Three looking to make the transition. Oh, here come Illuminati to push up. Lovely. Gore weak. Oh, my. The boxing gloves cannot make it there. But Rick is certainly there to pick up the frags and clear out the point in Illuminati. They're going to be on the outskirts looking in yet again, Imperium. I tell you, EUE have been very aggressive with their play so far in this game. EK has bitten them in the butt just a little bit, but I gotta say, when push comes to shove and they want to take control of the hardpoint, they don't seem to be wasting much time. They're going in all guns blazing, and it's working out because even if uh, Illuminati get an initial control of the hardpoint, EUE are fully, fully taken aback as quickly as they can. No, you're absolutely right. And I think something that we made note of a few days back or a few weeks back was EUE always managed to pick up the right kills at the right time, be in the right place, always picking up kills that indicate that they want to be in the objective or get the break on the objective. A lot of players who go two times positive, three times positive, who end up losing, a.k.a. Portugal. We talk about that Calabuso player who's so damn cracked. 
It doesn't mm. matter because those kills don't matter. They get into the objective, you know, and they get folded. The player who's out there fragging the most just not in position to capitalize. Well, EOE, they are all capitalizing. As a matter of fact, they got a 60-point advantage. I'm thinking, hey, while the kettle's hot, I think we jump in for a quick listen and see how those comms sound here. Is they got a P4 takeover already. They got operators of score streaks galore. What are you thinking? Quick listen in with the side of uh, EOE. I'm concussed too. Wait, don't peek from tower. Don't peek from tower. Oh, no, oh, no. Go, 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 go. Nice. nice. Right Push top team. No, I got concussed in the hill. They smoke, they smoke. Push top team, guys. Push top team. Go in the hill. I have a ramp. I have a ramp. Go in the hill. I'm still in the hill. I'm still in the hill. Stay in the hill. Stay in the hill. But I was covering you. Okay. Just watch my ramp. Okay. Okay. Watch me. Me, me, me. Ramp, 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 ramp. Okay. Don't peek that. They have seen me. Me, trailer, trailer, trailer. No one PT, one Tunnel, 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 two tunnel, two tunnel, two tunnel, two city, two city, two city, they're going new, they're going new. No, one ramp, one ramp, one ramp, guys, one ramp. Take scraps, take scraps, come down. Trailer, guys, trailer, they're pushing, they're pushing, they're pushing, they're pushing. A lot of information in those comms, Imperium. I love the callouts, I love the go new, don't peek. I mean, this absolutely very clear with every direction they want to go, and I got to say, everything about this team just... I'll say it again. It screams they want to be better. They want to get better. They want to yes. play to perfection. It is I, they literally owning Illuminati right here in this first game. I could feel the energy from their comms so much. The second we joined, it was like a, a breath of fresh air right in my face. I was like, whoa, these are energetic, loud, a tiny bit talking over each other towards the tail end of, of when we listen in but other than that you can't deny the energy the passion and like you said the the wanting to be better the wanting to win it is 100 percent there from eue in the comms and how they're playing in game gore trying to get the break here is going to get the three piece clears the hill the squad needed someone to step up illuminati finally able to get the break here but they have not been great on holding these retakes and here comes EUE. They crash in three all at the same time. They deal with that one last player. I mean, it was just, it was absolutely, it just, they made it look easy right there. And I'm not saying Illuminati is an easy team, but the break there on that P2 spot, retaking the objective, not yeah. giving Illuminati a single breath to breathe. I just absolutely flawless right here. Says 22 and sorry, says on 31 and 13. Uh, Guy is absolutely being dynamic for his team so far, and Rick gets shut down. But at the end of the day, in the start of this hard point, it is all guns blazing for EUE 193 up to 85. They are nearly 100 points ahead. They're over 100 points ahead of Illuminati. Yeah, man, this is, I mean, this is just a tough uphill battle for Illuminati all game long. No. No value out of the Money Hills. No value out of a lot of their operators being used. No clear communication as to where, you know, when they get to break, where are the players at? They're they're not stacking the objective, and that's where they're going wrong. EUE, they are violating, making sure they push in troves. And right here, they're only at about 32 points away. The break finally coming through on this P3 trailer site, but... I mean, when you're only working for scrap time, it is damn near impossible to get the, you know, the points needed to make a comeback. And you're not even like, getting that for typical, free. <laughs> typical example of what I just saw of, of maybe a, a bit of a, a bit of a decent reason why it's gone wrong for Illuminati. Starwork was inside the trailer with his teammate, I believe, Mahito, if I'm not mistaken. And he's rocking the Mac 10. So, and Starwork, what did he do? He went out of the trailer into the open, right? 
you're gonna hold on to the trailer with your teammate hold on to it especially with the mac 10 because at least you would have been able to cover each other because he went out in the open he got blown up by three of the EUE players and then the one player inside the trailer got blown apart as well so it seemed like Illuminati in this hardpoint game looked like five individual players in a, in a random public match going up against a, a, a full squad that's kind of what it looks like so disrespect but I have to call it as I see it yeah five pop stompers versus a team who are just dynamic when it becomes uh the objective time general Gore Gracie Looking for a little bit of last hope, but I believe that hope has left the window. Your opponents only need six points. You need a hundred and forty. It is not happening. The comeback is still a possibility, but P1. Open it back up for a third time around. It is just, I mean, I, I mean, you're, you're literally, you're literally just holding off the inevitable. There goes the cluster strike. Streaks are coming in. I don't want to call it early chat, but I think we've, uh, we've caught it right there. That's game number one, 250 yeah. to 114. Yeah, it's job done. EUE made it really generally look quite easy. Um, finessed Illuminati like there's no tomorrow. Strong team effort, strong energy from the comms as you highlighted earlier on. And, and when you have the likes of Saze picking up the amount of kills that he did. And, and then you had the, the great objective control with Greed of 1 minute along with Saze on 1 minute 42. Like 44, 90, that's over 2 KD. That's ridiculous from Saze. No, it is. It, and look at it. The objective time goes along with it. A minute and 42. When you got someone who's slaying yeah. out that hard and playing objective, that, I mean, it's damn near impossible to, to give up the, you know, the game. 250-114. Hell, at one point, I thought it was going to be 250-50 to 50 because the, the objectives just weren't being executed by Illuminati. But I know for one big fact, we're getting geared up for a sweaty sweaty search to destroy because this team in illuminati play it a lot differently than eue eue thrive in respawn game modes but they have yeah. not shown m a lot of improvement i say they they've improved you know a little bit but at the same time illuminati are possibly one of the better teams in in search of destroy in eu uh you you would list the names uh, at the top would be Nova and Animus in no in particular order. It's just who's better that day. And then you've got Illuminati who's making their way up. Mm. And you've got 117 I found as well. I, I can't forget those guys. But Illuminati is definitely up there when it comes to search. So we're definitely looking at seeing a game three here. If EUE doesn't, uh, you know, if they didn't improve tremendously from the last time I've seen them play search. Yeah, look, Illuminati are going to have to really book, book it up in, in Search and Destroy. And yeah, okay, they definitely are a stronger team in Search and Destroy compared to spawn modes. And, and... But, but again, I can't, I can't help but just think of that game we've just seen as five individual players um, rather than a cohesive. I hope. And, and there are five fantastic players individually. But I think it's we've... going to be picked apart, right? Um, and I hope they play more as a team. I think we need to disconnect from Discord because uh, I think I'm lagging a little bit. So what we're going to do is oh. give me just a second. It's not you. It's not you. It's definitely me. I'm taking a look at my ping. I got like, oh. I got that uh, no ping, no party situation where it's literally 150 ping. And hold on real quick. Okay. Everyone back out of the Discord. There we go. We are here for it. It is game number two. Search and destroy. On another other than standoff, we are getting back into the action. Go ahead and... Oh, no. I forgot to change that up. Hold up. Is that better? That is much better. Good. Good. Good to hear, man. Uh, so, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So... Illuminati, greasy with the bomb in his hands. They've been able to pick up the first kill on the Rick at least verdict. Now they can look to control this first round of the game. Yes, indeed. Now, as we can see it, two players drop. And again, Gore, five individual players make for great S&D teams. Why? Because they can always rely on their gun skill. But 
When it comes to a collective unit, that's or that hard point was just nowhere near what it needed to be. Kree gets one. He's dropped. Says is dropped. Greed's down. The round's over. And 40 seconds in. A little bit of TDM. No need for the bomb to get planned. Right one round in favor of Illuminati. And already flexing the skills that are necessary here to take this search and destroy. And first round, solid job there. Illuminati bounce back. Different team from the Hardpoint game, right? Yeah, de definitely to begin with. They got the first kill and they took full advantage of it. Says does pick up Mahito, so that's going to be a little bit tougher now for the side of Illuminati to at least control this round. Says shone brightly in the first game of Hardpoint. Can he follow suit in search and destroy? His teammate Rick is down, so it's 4 before and the bomb has been planted. 22 seconds on the clock now. The push say he's going to be ear hold right there. Starricker going to get the job done and bounces back. Knows he had one player to deal with. It is not going to waste his time in making that rotation back. Is Now it's all about playing the time, playing for the advantage to hit marker from the concussion. He gets a little bit of information. The push to follow might be overextended. Greed I love gets it. caught out. Oh, the shots do not connect. Greasy's able to catch one. Starricker is going to be able to finally... Seal the deal on that last player, and there it is, Cree. The last man alive for UE. Eight seconds left. Ain't no time in the world. It gets ear hole by Gore. And some decent shots coming through from both uh from both sides, but UE just not able to uh make that four v five or four v four uh takeover happen. I absolutely love that wraparound by Staric through Granny on towards the backside. It's so intelligent. The bomb had been planted. They had lost a player, but they, they knew by, by Starrick pulling that, it was that kind of minority, majority play, and it really worked out for them. But Yui coming in, swinging. Kree goes down. Karma Green, two players left up in a 2v3. But the bomb is down. Make that 2v2. Who's going to be dropped? Starrick or big kill right there. An advantage back in favor of Illuminati. They have done great with the numbers so far. Greed. Gonna play a little bit of time in the cubby site, looking to be a little more elusive. But you, st the longer you stay right here, the longer you're going to be executed Perfect. right there. Gore, test his luck in the cubby site. Here comes Starker on the flank. Good no. plays the pinch. Illuminati, they spread him thin, and it pans out perfectly. Oh, I don't know why you went towards that engagement. I'm pretty sure you would have heard those. Footsteps wrap around. You had to control at that point, EUE, right? Because the bomb hadn't been picked up, the bomb hadn't been planted. You could play them like a bit of a fiddle in that regard, but instead he kind of went for the push. It didn't work out. There we go. Boot Greasy picking up the two numbers again. Mojito going to be able to find one as well. Damn, bro. This is EUE just crumbling. We talked about the objective plays. Coming through the hard point, just, I mean, it wasn't ever close. Uh, I mean, the, the numbers never prevail. Karma gets dropped right there. Karma did yeah. find one before he goes, but, I mean, to search or destroy, this is a different beast. Obviously, you only play one of these at a best of three, so you got to find a way, Illuminati, to to, to to be better at hard point, to find a better strategy. Because this search or destroy is pretty demoralizing. i tell you what I don't like about, uh, about EUE on the defensive side is for the most part um they seem to be having too many mac 10s i don't think the mac 10 is is a best loadout for the majority of a team when you're the defending side to be honest and i think that's allowing them to suffer quite heavily well gun choices uh stick every round core oh my god saves through the wall homie never saw it coming mojito Gonna get the last kill, and that was a flawless 5-0 affair, and just like that, it's 5-0 as well! We're gonna flip sides! And now we're gonna see the defense here from Illuminati. We'll see this map. I, th I think that, you know, the pace of the game is better for the attacking side, and I think when you have five MAC-10s running around, or four, I think Karma is gonna be using the sniper. No, why is Karma not sniping? Why do they not have a single sniper? Okay, greed sniping. That's why he's only they got two did. on board. Yeah, they yeah exactly. They did. They did have at least one sni sniper. But at the end of the day, it was all about just as the defending side. It was all about having too many Mac tens from the side of EUE. It can work as the attacking side as they have been able to pick up two kills for the time being. Says is down, but greed gets it not on to Star Wrecker. So now with the bomb being planted, that's another player down. Boots on his own. Boots on his own. Boots on his own. 32 seconds on the clock. 1v4. 
clutch probability out the window. I, I don't see this happening. You see Greed actually going to go ahead and catch him across the map. Statue tank, absolutely OP. First round of the attack. It prevails. EUE finally get a point on the board. Man. Destroy the objective. Good. But the mountain they need to climb is massive. One mistake, right? One foot wrong. And it's game over for you. At least in terms of this game, and we'll go to game oh. three. Yes, they'll be back to their strengths, but it's still, it's not ideal, right? If you're looking to to find the the next Nova, the next 2021 Anarchy, right? You can't kind of, you can't be poor in in search and destroy. You need be, you need to be strong in all game modes. Ooh. You do need to be strong. It's starting a strong comeback indeed now. Three players left alive. But Gorn, Starricker, find two. Starricker still lurking right here on the statue tank. Is one shot, is able to win the gunfight. Creep finally able to take him down, but the damage is done. Two players left for Illuminati. They only need one more player to drop. That's Creep. They, hell, they can get the defuse. And I think that's exactly what Gorn's doing. But Creep oh, reads it well. Boot going to be able to get. The bomb defused with plenty of time, ladies and gentlemen. We are indeed going to game number three. I did say one mistake, and it was going to be it for for um, EUE in terms of game number two, and that's what we saw. That mountain is was just too hard to climb, and great play by Illuminati. Stronger teamwork, Starricker specifically as well. Very much impressed me throughout all of these rounds, defending and attacking. Pretty damn impressive indeed now, as we are guaranteed that Game 3. Brought to you by Illuminati with a 6-1 Search and Destroy performance. Obviously, they have a lot to work on at hard points. But their search game, pretty immaculate. Eight kills on board for yeah. Boot. You're returning MVP of the split last season, as well as the Rookie of the Year. My guy is a French m and Imperium. When we get a chance to join listen-ins for this game number three, I cannot wait to hear my man spit literally the flow of a god. Uh, a rap god, indeed. Uh, a French rap god, that is. General War right there. I think he had some some nasty first bloods, too, with seven on board. Seven apiece for him and Starricker, actually. Five and four for Greasy and Mojito, respectively. On the flip side of things, a little bit of a struggle. My man's went double positive in the hard point. Only dropped a single... Just one, like we're going to the strip club. Says yeah. and Rick, both of them. They uh, they want to get in real quick, right? They they do, uh, they, they do indeed. But I feel like this is going to be a little bit more difficult for you than they might initially think, based on the hard point. Uh, hopefully, a lot of confidence has been gained from Illuminati, and that kind of hey, we've warmed up now. We know how the flow of things are going. Yeah, okay, it's different to search and short, obviously, but but confidence is is always a big thing, and that mentality plays a big part. And when you're coming off the back of a round win, that can be a bit of a difference maker. It hope can. that's the case for uh, for Illuminati. I hope it's the case indeed. Now, as we are going to get geared up for domination, that's right. We're going to double it up, going right back to standoff. And if it's anything like the Search and Destroy, I, I have a lot of faith in Illuminati. But if it's anything like the hard point on firing range, uh, we might as well just not even play it, homie. I mean, it just wasn't there. Illuminati just looked so lackluster when it when it came to transitions. When they 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 were firm on getting breaks, but they were anything but firm once the break came through. They didn't have the numbers. The players just weren't available to stack the objective. And you mentioned it. You know, when you have the opportunity to do. Uh, the impossible, get the break on some of those money hills. You've got to have players in the point to maximize. And that is the biggest, that is the biggest thing when it comes to hard point. Right now, we are in domination. We'll see if the uh, objective plays a little better here for Illuminati or if we're going to see EUE come through the qualifying champs taking down one of the invited teams. Well, let's see who's going to have the juju to get the win in this game number three. This is domination. You take your respect of A and C and then you look to make the fight for B. With how Illuminati played 
in a couple of moments of search and destroy i look at that as a big positive right i mentioned the flank from star wrecker one of the attacking rounds last game i hope those kind of flanks come through to help them gain control and find something on towards the b it seems to be the case because they're halfway there they're halfway there but it is going to be reversed one player there creed looking to do the deed a little bit of mid lane control but is it going to be enough it is not the full wipe right there rick does find one before he goes but boo coming through with massive energy three on the board before he's finally taken down he's got four in the pocket now the push towards this b site it is going to have to come through once you get a little bit more mid lane and tractor control you can see it's already compromised karma right there on the flip side gets taken down and the reverse starting to still come through. Kree, a one-man wrecking crew. Able to do his deeds. Is able to reverse all the progress that Illuminati had coming through early on. I, I really like the fact that Illuminati aren't rocking too many of the MAC-10s. Because I think a domination in this map, it really doesn't give you much scope of... of that kind of mid-range control, right? You're relying on those very close quarter combat uh, fights. And, and if you have any kind of control of B, it's going to be a little bit more difficult to, to do that with the MAC-10. Whereas the Illuminati, they have a, a couple more uh, CBRs, Kilos, and an SKS as well. So I think they're a little bit more balanced in loadouts right now. Yeah, they are indeed. Kilo from Say is prevailing pretty hot there. He's got, oh, both that and the Banana Mac Blaster. He's going to be taken down, but again, it's been a back and forth affair. Still no clear indication of who's mm. going to take the B other than the fact that EWE, they've tapped it up for 60. 60 is not 100%, and that was exactly what we saw from Illuminati earlier. So it is a struggle here early on. Say is looking to do a little bit of map control. It's going to be shut down. There goes the two-player push. The numbers prevailing here for Illuminati. They're looking to get the break. They're looking to get the hill. Might be able to seal the deal. I'm thinking now is a better time than ever. We're going to go ahead and join in for our first listen in. We're going to be buckling up and jumping in with the side of Illuminati. Uh, uh, I'm clearing C. Only one! No, one to blue. We need to clear to blue. It's impossible. It's a curse. The blue. Ah, blue, 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 blue. Ah, blue, 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 I have mid, I have mid. Alright, not necessarily getting the results they want. The uh, double cap comes through for the side of EUE and, uh, and uh, Illuminati just clearly not able to get that flip. I think I looked at it at one point and Illuminati had every bit of that A control as I saw two or three players spawning in gas. But as quickly mm. as that came through, they pushed mid and the spawns were reversed. It was just a very so unfortunate good. god timing. Enemy down. Like, it, like it, it was so good from EUE, but it, if you really listen to the comms from Illuminati, there was so much disconnect. They, they didn't know really what they were going to do. It was like, oh, are we going for it? Are we not going for it? Are we going for it? It's like, you know, I, I appreciate that they had the idea, but if you're not really going to commit to it, if there's that level of uncertainty there, it's going to crumble, and we saw crumble right there. And once again, B has been taken over by, or it continues to stay in, hands of, stay in the hands of EUE, and it's given them a pretty dominating lead so far. Is it one by one they push and they all fall? The B cap does not come through. Not a single bit of hope in this first half here for oh. the side of Illuminati. The big kill is coming through in the back end, but round's over. It's 169. I mean, this game is relatively close in, in numbers, but as far as map control goes, it has not been a close one. The EUE have almost. Put the biggest pressure. They were almost in a triple cap territory earlier. I mean, yeah. You've got to be able to take this control in the second half early on, or there's no hope here for Illuminati. They're going for it. 
Bit of an early push for the time being, but they've only got a quarter of the way. Looking towards the KDs, over and towards the side of EUE. It's very much being Rick and Greed all the way. Greed with 21 and 9. Rick picks up another one as well to make a 18 12, and they have 105 to 76 advantage. Nearly finding the A. I like this from EUE. They're playing Illuminati like a fiddle right now, Verdict. No, they are. They're spreading them thin. You've got three man push through bottom blue. It gets shut down, but the A cap damn near came through. And a little bit of creative strats here. They're not giving up on this A flip. You can see Kree's already made his way yeah. through the back alley. He's already taken down one. The callouts are going to come through. And Starricker up top with the SKS. He's kind of clueless. He doesn't know where he's at. And there it goes. Kree able to bite him on the backside. The Purifier only serves for one. And that is a tough way to go when you're pulling your operator out. And second half starts off. Automatic A, B caps. I'm digging the vibes from Illuminati so far. Yeah, playing them like a fiddle, but it's music to the ears of the side of Illuminati as they take control of the B-Cap, holding on to Granny's Greasy with the pistol, picks up a two-piece. 102, 104 to 120, the comeback is real. This is coming up to a nail-biting of a finish. This is game three and only the first series of the day. First series of the day, and I said it, this is the marquee matchup. Why? Because here we are, game three, 13-point de uh, deficit. Here for Illuminati, they are surely going to be able to maintain that and make the comeback happen the first half. A little bit of a blunder. Second half, all in their court. Big time game here for the side of Illuminati to go ahead and take this series 2-1. But Mojito on the backside looking for some action with the Sparrow. Only going to be able to find two before he's dropped. And now here comes the push from EUE. They're trying to get a little bit of tractor control. There's not a lot of traction though. You can see a boot holding down the... The four in cubby. Oh, my karma with the two-piece. Is it going to be enough, though? The numbers are in EUE's favor, but the spawns, they're going to be right back in. And Illuminati, they are not going to give up this B-cap. Oh, are they? Greed. Can he get the solo? He steps off one second. The flash, the concuss. He's naded, but Rick right there to pick it up. Rick doesn't get it, though. It's 1% needed. And Illuminati stack the hill. They reverse it just enough. And they hold off the push, and I think that might be it for the side of EUE. It's not done just yet. There's still two minutes left on the clock. 147, 142. This is so close. They've cleared it. Good play coming out from Illuminati, and that's going to be 150. 143 so far. 50 indeed. Minute and 45 on the clock, and the time starting to dwindle. Points starting to rack up that deficit I mentioned earlier. It's long gone. Music to the ears of Illuminati. And good night, bro. I gotta say, based off what we saw on the hard point, I did not anticipate this kind of momentum and this kind of energy. Of course, we got Boot to sub in in game number two. And I think that's a massive difference. My guy, you heard the frustration, the comms earlier. I mean, they, they it was a lot of uh, miscommunication, but you heard the frustration. I mean, these guys are very passionate about what they do. That doesn't always translate to being or wanting to do better, but you got to appreciate the effort, and the effort has paid off the second half. It is leaps and bounds. That is not going to be we being able to get the A-cap. They have two players there. One player is going to be dropped. Karma's down as well. Creativity at its finest. Well, Greed's the last one there. He's going to get shut down. No traction on B. No traction or no players there to capitalize on A. Greed going to go ahead and pop the airstrike. And I think it's a day late dollar short, homie. You've had this for how long? <laughs> so long. And you know what? It's not always about how you start. It's about how you finish. And props to Illuminati. You called it. The first half of the game was frustrating. It was a struggle bus. It was all EUE. But in the second half, it was Illuminati to grab their pieces music to their ears grab that flute the full band the orchestra and just create a symphony of destruction against eue that is it ladies and gentlemen 200 to 169 nice big big game three there for the side of illuminati they take the series they take 15 but it was a hell of an effort from eue hell of an effort indeed game one was rock solid game two it was a miss Game three comes through. You started off strong, but again, Imperium mentioned it. It's not how you start. It's how you finish. You can't finish too quickly, right, Imperium? You got to hold it off. You got to make sure you have that second half performance. 
that matches that same energy from the first half. And we just didn't get that progress from uh, from Iwi. Their first ditch attempt on that A push looked rock solid. But they choked. They choked. That That is all I got to say. Yeah, like, look, it, it, maybe I'm, tr I'm trying to decipher maybe where exactly went wrong for EUE. I think there was a, a lack of adaption or just not having that plan C per se. The plan B in the first half was to run rings around uh, Illuminati off the back of the B cap and, and for example, take their... A and just kind of split them in that regard, split the focus, frustrate them. That was great. But when we saw the kind of reset in the second half, they didn't really do anything like that, at least from what I saw, for the most part. And as soon as um, Illuminati had control of the B, there was no real counter from EUE as hard as they tried. And that, that, Worse, that doesn't take anything away from how much better Illuminati played in the second half. But yeah, UE, there wasn't that plan C in their back pocket and it saw them uh, hit that brick wall. Yeah, plan C, I mean, plan A, plan B obviously didn't work. Plan C, they get the C side of the map and just couldn't maximize, right? Yeah. They couldn't get the flip early and, you know, they were kind of just stuck twiddling their thumbs. You know, in a game like this, you can't have any downtime. There's got to be a little bit of progress on each and every objective if you're going to make that flip happen. And obviously, they didn't have the numbers to stack the A site enough to get the flip, and they couldn't get enough traction on B to hold off the attention from Illuminati. Illuminati read right through it, had the right plays at the right time. Wasn't the case in Hardpoint, but get, ladies and gentlemen, we don't play Hardpoint Search and Hardpoint. We play Hardpoint Search and Dom now. Yeah. And I think we're getting back in the swing of that. While we are getting back in the swing of that, we're going to go ahead and get back into uh, our second series. So before we do that, we're going to hear a word from COD Mobile. Take a short intermission to get these uh, next lobby set up. Don't go anywhere. we got three more action-packed series on our hands tonight, and you don't want to miss any of them moving forward. So we'll be right back. <laughs> 